they're so fun to use. Like <laughs> every time I have them there, I just go to my living room and I grab them and I just start like do this different flow flow patterns and so cir circles and rolling motions. I think this is really something more people should be using, especially if you are a martial artist, an athlete, or more like a functional fitness person. Like these are incredible tools. They're much better than I could have imagined. And I want to try things that really challenge my coordination, challenge my, my proprioception, challenge my skills and the strength, like all in one. And I found that this tool actually was able to kind of tackle all of those different areas pretty much. So there's tons of different training equipment nowadays, like in the gym and everywhere that you can see. And, you know, some of these more popular and other stuff, like, for example, steel maces and Indian clubs are not so popular. Like if you think about, you know, kettlebells have become pretty much mainstream. Like you can find them from anywhere where you go to. But most of the gyms that I go to, there, there's some gyms that have like some clubs uh, and, you know, some, some like sledgehammers, but very few. And... What I've noticed, what I've come to, or what I've started to use a while ago already, are these different type of, you know, maces and clubs. And uh, I have just come to notice how actually very beneficial, beneficial they are. And I feel like they are an equipment that actually much more people should be using. Because for some reason or not, uh, they're not that popular, at least in the West. Because these actually originate from India and Persia. Like, that's pretty much the common origin for these and they have been used uh, essentially, I think, for thousands of years by actually the, the warriors. So, because, you know, you can kind of emulate the using of actual maces, like battle maces and swords and carrying, you know, a shield and everything. And then in India, these were especially popular among the wrestlers. Like, if you look at the, the Hanuman god, the monkey god, he, he is carrying a gada, which is the Indian name or the Eastern name for steel maces. The Gada was his main weapon and the wrestlers worship him and the wrestlers, all wrestlers in India train like that's trained with this Gada. So uh, I was, the thing about it is that for the longest time, I also personally, I didn't, I didn't utilize any of these maces as a, as a training tool. I had a bit of like a different priorities and a different training journey. I was really focusing on building the foundation and learning this body control with, with my body weight and you know more traditional dumbbells and barbells and kettlebells as well. So, and and I felt like the the steel maces just didn't catch my attention then because it, it seemed quite a different way of training actually and, and something that just was not my priority at the time. But after a while, like some time ago, I just realized that you know I actually I want to know what these are about like I've seen some people use them and I and I know this that because I have of course used like sledgehammer and for example you know banging the, the tires and everything but I realized that the the these maces and even the sledgehammer and everything like they're so much more versatile tool like you don't just need to be banging some maces or something you, you can do a, a, like incredible actually flowing beautiful flowing movements like martial arts movement, movements that emulate this sort of different type of kinetic chains and different force production mechanics. And I recognized this, but I wasn't still like sure like how good they would actually be. So I got myself a steel mace, a pair of Indian clubs, and, and suddenly, suddenly joined and cut like a, a, a like an incredible variety of mazes as well. Like <laughs> I was a surprise. I, I came to Somali and there was like a number of mazes just on the row. I was like, okay, yeah. So we got a bit uh, excited about this, and I think we, I mean, we even added the Warrior Twin X, we already added workouts with both the clubs, and then with the maze here, this kind of this, uh, six, 6 kg maze, so about 13, 12 pounds. So there are now workouts in Warrior Twin X with both of these, and uh, just started to train with them, and wanted to talk about our experience and why should maybe more people also get excited about about these maces. 
Yeah, so like Gero mentioned, I really got like six different ones <laughs> already, different weights and different sizes. So like this is something that was like completely off my radar. Like, of course, I saw this on online and Instagram and YouTube, like some people doing. And of course, the, in Iran, this is very popular still, like all the strong guys and the, many athletes use it. And likewise in the India as well. And of course, I saw this and I was aware of this, but it was, I don't know, for some reason, it was completely off my radar. Like, I just never even, like, got an idea, like, well, let's try this. But, but like, then I saw Aero doing it. Then Aero got the maze, the big one, really big, long maze, heavy one. And I tried it, and it felt very different than I expected, and it felt really, really, really good. And after that, I just got a lot of different stuff on Amazon and then I started playing with it and using the Indian clubs and then using the steel mazes and everything and and now I'm like I'm a huge fan and I think this is really something more people should be using especially if you are a martial artist especially if you are an athlete or or more like a functional fitness person like these are incredible tools they're much better than I could ever like could have imagined. Like they, because your whole body is just so connected, and it really trains you know the the forearms, the wrist strength, the grip strength, but also your shoulders, and not just like shoulder strength, but also shoulder mobility because you're using the the tools in such a versatile ways, and and your core is also present in every movement, and the most important thing is that. Many of these movements you do with the, with the gloves and the mazes is that they really mimic like actual athletic movements more than anything, like way more than any dumbbell movement, way more than, let's say, barbells or even like compared to kettlebells, like kettlebell is more like a fluid dynamic tool, but these are way more dynamic and fluid tools compared to the kettlebell. Like I think kettlebell is somewhere like it has, it, it's more dynamic than a dumbbell, for example, but it's still more similar to, to a dumbbell than it is to a, a club or maze. So if you want the d dynamic, elastic, fluid strength and athleticism, then these clubs and these mazes are like just incredible, and especially if you're a martial artist or an athlete. Yeah, I noticed like the, also the very first thing when I was started to do, uh, use the maze, First of all, was actually the weight of it because for me I was like, okay, six kilos. I, it's not like it's, I curl it. I can curl it like easily like this way. And then when it's put on the top of the maze, like on the leverage of the bar, I was like, how does this feel so heavy? Like I was genuinely surprised. I just couldn't. I was. I went to the scale like to actually make sure that this is just six kilos. I couldn't believe that it was six kilos. Uh, but it was, and I just realized that, that you know this is pretty unique equipment. And when I first used it, it was maybe just like one minute of something I was trying to do. The swings it wasn't very good, but I was like struggling there. And immediately when I put the mace down, I was like my forearms were like done, and I felt them the entire like night and the day and even the next day. And you know I did a bit more of the training, but that was and like you know for because... me like after after one week my forearms are still you know <laughs> recovering like after one week like I've been yeah, recovering it's, it's from my workouts for seven days or something like this. And and you know I had like I have pretty strong forearms like they like already developed like and and I, I just couldn't believe like you know this this kind of maze training would bring so much more more like actually training so I'm just like feeling like much more gains from that. Because now when I'm doing it, I don't feel any more the pain or the or the soreness. So it really meant that I I grew like some additional like real strength into my forearms by just utilizing that maze, which was like already worth the <laughs> worth the price of the maze and worth the trouble of learning to actually use it. I think that was incredible. But you know, I think as as someone mentioned, there's the integration aspect because this everything is like whole body movements. Like you you cannot you. If you want to swing the maze properly, there's no way that you're going to do it if you're not like stable in your core, if you're not stable in your legs or anything, or you can maybe do it, but it will be very poor. So in order to like utilize this, there's a kind of an, I say, a bit of a threshold 
because you need to learn like the skill of actually utilizing that. But that's kind of what brings a lot of those benefits because you actually need to learn to to sense the path of the maze and then utilize that path, like go with it, not against it, and learn to like adjust your body to it. It's really I've, I've found it's just very intriguing and actually super fun training. Like among like all the benefits, someone was explaining just like one thing was that like they're so fun to use like <laughs> every time I have them there I just go to my living room and I grab them and I just start to like do these different flow flow patterns and so cir circles and rolling motions and it's really the mobility aspect the stability aspect and when you put the arms like they're always rotating somewhere here in this overhead position there's rotation there's extension so you get so much different movement with with uh, with this kind of uh, how do you say activity that you're not really necessarily even focused on specifically okay I'm gonna train my shoulders now and I'm gonna train this motion it just comes with the with the skill with the practice with the art of this swing in this maze so like just fantastic way to I think integrate the body and learn to utilize many things that some people are trying to like teach okay use the core or use the hips or something so when you practice the maze I feel like it kind of forces you in some ways to learn this but of course I'd say that if if you're a total beginner like maybe it will be better to build a foundation with some other training or at least have a basic level of core strength before going to the maze training but but the way you can like flow with it there's literally like you you mentioned about you know there's the dumbbells and kettlebells and everything else that you can utilize also but they're just not so convenient for training these different type of martial arts and athletic movements because i was trying to do these different type of swingings and wood chopper movements and everything with even with dumbbells and like you can kind of do them it's fine but if i would have known about the maze and if i would have known about the indian clubs i would have use them I would have gotten much earlier actually because it's much more better for those it's like it actually that's really what it's made for it's made for this swinging stuff and and so that you can utilize it for these movements that really emulate very directly different athletic athletic movements I think yeah I think the best part about the mazes and the clubs is that it's actually fun like of course you learn to love like training with dumbbells and barbells and you learn to love it because you like just maybe everyone doesn't everyone do not love it in the beginning but they learn to love it the more you do it but with the mazes and clubs like it's like immediately it's quite fun like and it's a lot of fun like it's like actually fun it's like hard to explain but it's actually training it's like maybe some flow movements but it's more maybe convenient to do at home as maybe not all maze movement but the clubs are very easy to do just like this but it's just it's strange because it's a lot of fun like and and the surprising thing about the maze and the club was that like when i go to the gym and i do some purple exercises or dumbbell exercises or even body weight exercises like pull-ups or anything i don't really get out of breath ever because i've been doing it for many years for for a very long time like it's just very like efficient for my body to do to do those movements even when i do like high reps or heavy weight or almost anything with good form i still don't get out of breath but when i was training with the clubs like i don't know just my whole body was just working so much harder especially the nervous system that i was getting feeling like not like completely out of breath but even with like some basic squats where i'm holding the club i was like after the set i was like a little bit like out of breath like and it never happens with even with like kettlebells like because i've been doing the warrior with 20x workouts for a very long time and even when i do like kettlebell swings and all these kettlebell movements like with very high tempo i still don't get get really or of course i can get out of breath but not as easily as with the clubs and mazes but maybe it's because it's a new form of training but but it's still works on the nervous system a lot more than than i expected and one thing mm -hmm. about why it's why it's also like to, to go back to the previous the fun point is that when you use the clubs and the mazes 
you feel like a warrior. Like you actually feel like you're like a like a Conan barbarian or something. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah, it's like a like it's like a it really feels like you're a Spartan warrior or like a you're training for Spartan army or something like this. It really like it's the most similar. And then you just play some you know music from Tar- Conan the Barbarian or Star Wars or something, and then you feel like you're like a actual warrior. Yeah, but I mean. And that's that was the origin, like I mentioned, even the beginning. Like that, these are like warrior weapons. Like that's, and it's something that you know. What I also thought that okay, if, if these guys have, like after I learned a bit more, like if these guys have really used this for centuries and even for thousands of years, like the 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 guys who was like in in battles, like in ancient wars with like with with their mazes and their swords, and then even in the like martial arts, like the Indian and the wrestling and. Like maybe there's something actually benefit. Like maybe there's a reason why they are using this. Like maybe, maybe there could be something you know that worth like figuring out and trying out yourself. And that that really can be true. Like yeah, you feel you feel like a warrior because that's what it's kind of made for. And and personally, uh, it's the the flowing aspect is something I enjoy most. Enjoy the most. Like the, your creativity creativity is really the limit here. Like there's so many things that you can do with. It is like if you search like some movements for for the for the mazes or the club bells, you can find some basic a lot of and you know some people do like oh they can you can do like squats, curls, you can do presses, you can do almost any movement with them actually. That's also one of the great things. Like this when when I have this here, like it almost like substitutes dumbbells. Like I don't have any dumbbells at my home, I have the uh, gym in the building, but like with this I can do so many different movements, like even just like kind of basic strength movements. But the, but for me, I enjoy the creativity. Like it's the same like in movement training. I I come up with, with a lot of stuff. I experiment with a lot of stuff, and I want to try things that really challenge my coordination, challenge my my proprioception, challenge my skills and the strength, like all in one. And I found that this tool actually was able to kind of tackle all of those all of those different areas pretty much. And oh, yeah, I would say like that. The clubs and the maze, it's very versatile, like, it's like endless possibilities what you can do with it. But in the beginning, when you pick it up, it feels like you cannot do anything with it. It's like, you just do like this. It really feels like it's just, you know, like you can do almost nothing because it takes quite a lot of, you know, like the body intelligence and the kinesthetic intelligence to even come up with the movements. And that's the... Uh, like of course, like there's many benefits to these clubs and mazes, but the hard part is you know coming up with the movements, especially if you don't have the the really high level physical background. But that's why we, like Errol already mentioned, we already filmed and added uh, two workouts to Warrior Twenty XX method, like one with the maze and one with the clubs, and they and they also come with the uh, six different exercises per workout and also like uh, additional videos or a video with more information about this type of training. Yeah, and you know, it mentioned like the, you talk about, for example, that you get kind of out of breath with it. And that's also one of the reasons why it was pretty perfect for Warrior Trainings because it's actually, it's conditioning training. Like the, the workouts there are supposed to get you Kind of on the the what is the deep end of the pool and gets you really uncomfortable and then comfortable with the uncomfortableness of the physical pressure and stress and comes with it and I was just like we got to make a workout with this because it's it's the perfect tool I mean it's a warrior tool for the warrior workouts <laughs> and on top of that it's just <laughs> it's like it's amazing conditioning tool it really gets you out of bread and it works like all the right places and it just gets you feeling like pretty much all of your muscles like. And, and even just you know for the physical development, because because there's always there's always that way that you can you can plan your body like you can I train the specific like this biceps or the triceps or the you know the chest something that, that you're focusing on like, with consciousness. But then there's the other type of training that I really love, which is also movement training, actually one of the benefits. And also in this kind of athletic movements and the steel maze is that there's there isn't that kind of master work plan in your head i'm going to train exactly this but it it builds up really interesting 
definition, really interesting details into your body. As a result, because you're using so many different muscles, like your obliques, like think about, you know, all this, there's, there's so many different details that our mind can even grasp them. That's one of the things why I love movement and why I love this kind of steel mesh training and even the club ball is that it trains things in your body that you cannot think like even or you you can but not, you cannot very easily logically think okay I'm going to train this part of my obliques or this lower part or here or this or that or this lower back muscles or the different stabilizing muscles next to the spine like the smaller ones and the QL carotids lumbar rooms and and then you know the the, the medial glute glute parts and everything is if you just do the steel mesh training really well you get to train so many different areas without having even really this conscious knowledge of what you're training. And I love the way that it really shapes shapes the physique, you know, the, the, like warrior training is really made for shaping the physique quickly. And it happens through essentially two ways, like intensity is one of those ways, you know, we really push it. And the other one is the versatility of the movements, versatility and athleticism of the movements. So those are the two ways that really like rip the body <laughs> and create some pretty incredible results so yeah it's the yeah like it, it's the intensity and the volume because because with the world the next workout because the more you do the workouts or actually the more you do the exercises during the workout your different muscles will fatigue like more than others so it will like the more you fa the more your body fatigues the more it goes deeper to you, like different types of muscles. Like, for example, what I mean is that when you go to the gym, you do like a like a push-ups or bench press, it will always kind of have like the certain muscles that work the hardest. But when you do warrior twin X workouts, you will do the exercise over and over and again. And so what happens is that some of your bigger, bigger muscle groups that are usually dominant and usually do most of the work, they will fatigue first. And after that, it goes like deeper and deeper to your structure and different smaller muscles as well. That's the thing, like, you, it accumulates the stress and it's, you don't stop when you feel like stopping. Uh, that's kind of also the thing. So you get the intensity, you get the versatility, you get the volume, but you also get to have a structure and me like pushing yourself because it, it's one thing, you know, most people I feel like they, they when they're training, immediately when they feel a little bit like uncomfortable, you kind of stop. But there's there's a period of time where you can continue still doing and that's where you can make some like serious results. And and Yeah, I think just, most most yeah. people they stop at Ten percent, probably. <laughs> <laughs> could, could very well be. Like, could very well be. <laughs> so yeah, me, but, but yeah, with the maces, there is a like I said, and even somebody mentioned like you, in the beginning, it's like what, what, what are you gonna do about it? So, like, it's it's hard to use. But there's the skill aspect of it, you know, that you, you need to learn. But uh, you know, once you get the basic basic down, I teach like the basic 360, 300 swinging also like that's the fundamental like trademark movement and after you learn that you start to really perceive the movements of that maze you start to perceive the move the head here mm. uh, where it's moving how you can actually utilize it control it and that's where it all begins but there's also a lot of movements like i said that you don't need that much skill some movements require much more skill but there are also movements where you simply because it's a workout even just holding it here like like holding the maze here in the center of the body, this is a workout. <laughs> and it, especially, the, like, of course it gets easier as you get better, but in the beginning, like, this was this was like a really, it's, it stresses the central nervous system, like even someone said, it just, it just taxes you. And so it's, it's I would just say it's, it's uh, there's the threshold of the skill, but it's still one of the easiest and most convenient ways to get a new or build a new stimulus uh, no, no no build how to say new attributes into your body very conveniently like it just comes like like that within a week or two weeks of training with the maze you can upgrade your body like on some multiple areas that will uh, be very hard to do without it. yeah and especially in terms of movement also because like some of these movements like your shoulder and everything it's it's just hard to explain, but your body moves in very different ways than with any other tool or 
you could ever you could never move your body that way with body weight alone because somehow somehow like because you are not just controlling your body you are also controlling the the maze which has lots of leverage so how it develops the body is very unique in many ways but but that being said it's not a magic tool it's not like uh, something that uh, replaces all the other tools because it, it's the be I think it's the one maybe the best tool like maze and clubs they are maybe the best tools for this dynamic elastic strength where you are like uh, controlling your center of mass and controlling some external obje object with your body weight for that type of dynamic strength and mobility and athleticism it's probably the best tool I've come across but if you want to fix your body and develop the foundation then all these different types of training with dumbbells with body weight are much better ways and much more effective and efficient as well but but I think the more higher level higher level athlete you are the more useful these clubs and mazes actually are because if you consider like an, a high level uh, physical uh, individual he should already have all, all of most of his foundation built. He should already be like pain free. He should be very strong almost everywhere. So after that, when you already have everything, then the maze and the clubs are. I think like right now, I don't feel like doing almost any other type of training other than animal movements and mazes and clubs. Like everything else is it feels like I've been already doing it for a very long time. So. So that's where the most growth and the most progress is for, for me at this point. But I think even like beginners, of course, they can also experience the benefits immediately. But, but how much you like uh, uh, focus on different tools depends on your level. Like a beginners should focus on the foundation first and then all this extra fun and cool stuff that is more dynamic. But if you're already like a more intermediate and higher level advanced or elite, then this, for I think for elite athletes, this should be maybe one of the most, I, the most effective ways to like improve their athleticism. Mm, it's very true. Like like I explained already right, in the like, beginning. Because, uh, yeah. I want to, like I just don't think all these cable machine movements and this barbell power moves they focus too, too much on. They just, don't, they, they just don't build the dynamic strength, what you actually need on the field or in a cage or in the, octa in the, in the ring or anywhere else because, because real athleticism is very dynamic in most sports and it's not like you just once explode like this. Most sports are like are not like this. So for that type of track, the maze and the clubs are just like significantly better than the what most tools are used by the athletes today. Yeah, and it, exactly like I explained in the in the beginning that like there were many years that I had completely different priority. Like I had seen like and I had followed some people who did the maze training and something, but I knew that it's it's just not for me at that point I wanted to build a foundation like you explained it's 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 more useful after you have some sort of background like beginners can use it but yeah definitely the people who have a, a bit of an idea of their body or maybe they're trained with movement to next or athlete to next will be like bet just will have a better base to actually master master the the mace because yeah, like I think it's it, yeah. yeah yeah like if you solder is broken I don't think you should not use the maid at uh, the club or yeah. the maid, like, because of course maybe it can help if it's very light may lightweight mm. club it can probably help a lot but most likely you should be focusing more on the very surgical precise athlete 20xx method style of training that really focuses on strengthening the whole area like with very specific exercises yeah it's very true like uh, these which weight like two pounds like they can be and they are often recommended for like if you have shoulder pains or injuries but but it's not like if you have really like a bad case you know poor control in scapular or some postural thing they're not 
necessarily the, I think the most effective for the tool for that, although they're often recommended. But personally, I've, in my experience throughout many years, it's much better that you actually train control movements and very slow and, and actually, you know, without actually even any equipment. That's the first thing. You need to even learn to control your body without any sort of equipment. This is already enough for fixing and healing your body. You don't really need uh, any of these kind of things. But the other thing that you mentioned, Samuel, was that, you know, the, like, okay, the athletes, for example, they, I saw a video where some guy was like, uh, well, the back squat or, uh, no, no, the deadlift is not good for the athletes, but the, the power, like the power clean, and that's, that's the good movement. And I was like, it's not that like much different. It's like very one, di one dimensional movement where you just use explosiveness. But it's very, and you have, like with the barbell, you have so limited options. If you have the maze, you can do, you can use that explosiveness. You can use it to any direction. You can use it in any plane, like, and on different diagonal movements, on different rotations. Like, that's what we already talked about. There's so many different possibilities. So for athletes and for like me, who are already experienced in training and, and doing a lot of athletic stuff and martial arts and, and all this, like kickboxing and boxing and MMA stuff, it's it's been fantastic. So, and yeah, another I thing, think, uh, oh. another thing about the maze and club is that they can be adjusted to your sport also. Like you can actually adjust the maze to mimic or re represent many similar movements you have in golf, for example. But but for example, the power the power uh, snatch or power clean. It just, it just doesn't, uh, just at this point, like, we used to believe in that stuff, but we don't believe in that, that stuff anymore, because it just we feels waste of training. Yeah, there's no way to, like, really individualize for the sport, or to make it sport-specific, like you mentioned. So, but, yeah, I think this was pretty comprehensive, unless you still have something, I can't really think of much, I think we covered a huge amount of things and, and this is all really stuff that now training already for a while with this I'm just really in love with this stuff <laughs> actually I needed to now keep a bit of a break because I had like this uh, bit of skin came off from the arm so and I'm just like missing the training already because I can't use my <laughs> left arm really for that so really good tool if you want to really have an equipment that is great for all sorts of physical athletic sports equipment is like adjustable for those and to just train your body in a holistic integrated integrated way and and if you want to then even take it much further and do creative flows even it's it's really quite limitless training if you have a good solid foundation under you so that's that's what the mazes and clubs are for yes oh, wow. stay strong oh.